and CEO plans to start production in mid-October. What do you think, Ian? Zero to 60 in two seconds? Faster than the PT. Well, <laughs> you trade it in? <laughs> Where do you need to go that fast? <laughs> I don't know. It is faster than my car, just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Mine uh, is like the Flintstone car there. Let's get right into it, whether. <laughs> My parents have a PT car. Okay, Tim, enough! <laughs> Sandy, a peak! All right, the secret's out. Okay, we, very nice day, as you can see here. Oh, I'm a little red. Over the Albuquerque skies as we take a look at the satellite radar. A pretty picture, nary a cloud in the sky. Don't have to worry about any rain. A trough that brought us showers yesterday has since moved out, and it's doing its thing over in the Tennessee River Valley. As we get into tomorrow, we'll be mostly sunny. We could see a spot mountain storm, but not very likely. High pressure is going to kind of move up to the north and the west. This will be our weather maker, a trough that slides off to the off to the uh, Midwest, it's going to shoot a cold front into the Northeast. So that'll enter Tuesday and that'll do two things. It's going to increase our storm chances for the Northeast and then also areas of the Southwest. That'll be Tuesday, um, Tuesday PM mainly, but as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, much better storm coverage once that trough does pull through, that cold front does pull through in the areas you see in green. Now in Albuquerque, we're going to have to see how far that cold front advances. Different models are saying different things. It's pulling it in earlier and stronger. Another one saying, slower and not as strong. So we'll have to keep an eye on it, but definitely better storm coverage in the Northeast and even the Southeast Plains as we get into uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And also definitely cooler temperatures. That'll be a uh, guaranteed feature. And then we will be dry for the end of the week as high pressure does build back into the region. Let's take a look at your uh, hour by hour super storm track. 8 a.m. you're fine as you're getting ready. It will be chilly in the Northern Mountains, so a light jacket. You can see 3 p.m. Just little dots here and there over the Sacramento's and over in the Gila and north of the Gila and in the San Juans and Sangres, but really not wide coverage as we get into Monday. 5 p.m. still not a big day for us and even as we get into uh, Tuesday morning we're fine but watch what happens Tuesday afternoon. This is 2 p.m. We can see a little bit better coverage in the central mountain chain and then also the southwest and even better coverage as we get into the evening hours. You can see better uh, action here near Las Vegas, Mora, Raton and even pulling these storms down into Roswell for Tuesday 10 p.m. So we can expect uh, even better coverage for Wednesday and Thursday. So that's something we'll keep an eye on. 80 degrees right now in the metro. Winds are north northwest at 10 miles per hour. Temperatures around the state, not bad at all. 67 in Alamosa, 85 in Roswell, 81 in Silver City. Let's do the numbers here. 44 tonight in Cuba. It's going to be a chilly one. Temperatures will be in the 70s for the most part for the northwestern part of the state. Mostly sunny and a nice day out there. Really the four corners not favored for great storm coverage this week because you're going to be a little too close to that high pressure. So air is going to kind of sink and squash out our chances. So it's looking like a very nice day uh, and week ahead in the four corners. Southwest New Mexico, better chances for storms. A slight chance for tomorrow, but as we look at the seven-day forecast, we can see temperatures in Silver City climbing a little bit, but then they dip right around Wednesday Thursday. That's a cold front coming in and then increased rain for us for Thursday and Friday in the Silver City region. Southeast New Mexico could see a spot storm tomorrow. It would be late if we did see it, but not very likely. 88 in Artesia, 75 in Ruidoso, 84 in Fort Sumner. Seven-day forecast. Watch this. We'll go from 90 degrees on Tuesday to 79 on Wednesday. So that's that cold air rushing on in, and then we will increase the rain possibilities for Wednesday and Thursday. That's going to be our best chance in Roswell. Northeast, New Mexico, 80 in Raton, 77 in Las Vegas, some clouds, mild conditions out there. It's going to be a similar situation for Las Vegas as we get into the middle of the week. Temperatures nosedive going from 75 to 62 and hanging out in the 60s and then much better coverage for rain. This will be one of our focuses for the middle of the week. In the northern mountains, not bad at all. A spot storm chance possible, partly cloudy. 68 in Angel Fire, 70 in Chama, 77 in Santa Fe. 70 forecast in Santa Fe shows a slight uh, change in temperatures from 71 to 66 from Wednesday to Thursday and then a better chance for rain from that Wednesday to Friday period. But Monday and Tuesday, they look absolutely great. In the East Mountains, partly cloudy, slim storm chances, but could see one try to get going tomorrow, although not very likely, 81 in Moriarty. And right here in the Duke City, how about a very nice day? We'll have sunny conditions and some clouds move in. Temperatures will be in the 80s for the most part, and then the seven-day forecast, we will see our temperatures affected by that cold front a little bit, going from the 80s to the 70s. But really, we're going to have to see uh, closer to Wednesday and Thursday how much of that cold front, how far west it pushes, and if it gives us enough moisture um, to really get storms going. Nice Monday, at least. Yeah, very nice Monday. Thank you, Ian. Here's a look at tonight's primetime lineup here on KRQE. 60 Minutes is coming up next. Two hours of The Good Wife airs at 7.